I can always look back to and tell my kids someday that I had played a sport in college and the amount of work it takes, but it's all worth it. Welcome once again inside the Sullivan Center, just a few minutes away now from tip-off between the Fighting Saints of St. Francis and the Holy Cross Saints. It's one of the final CCAC regular season games of the year, the season getting set to wrap up a week from today. Hard to believe we're there already, but it is just three games left on the schedule for the Fighting Saints. Terry Bonadonna with you inside the Sullivan Center today. Thanks for being here for what should be a fun game for the Saints who look for their season-high seventh win in a row. They'll be taking on a team that they have already beaten once this year, a couple of months ago in South Bend, Indiana. They were 64 to 61 victors over Holy Cross. That was a very tight game. It was a game that was very much in doubt up until the final couple of minutes. Saints would like a little bit of an easier time today against Holy Cross, and they've been playing just as well now as they were back then. In fact, last time they played Holy Cross, that was their sixth straight win. And now they come in on a six-game winning streak, this time looking for a seventh straight. So kind of similar circumstances, but the Saints have been much better defensively lately, and that's been the biggest key. I just talked to Steve Brooks about it, but they're allowing only 47 points per game over their current winning streak. They are currently tops in the conference in scoring defense both overall and in conference play this year. It's a big one for St. Francis today, 14-3 in conference. They have already locked up a home game in the conference tournament, which will begin in about two weeks. A win today would guarantee them no worse than the number three seed in the CCAC tournament. And they do still have an outside shot at a two seed in the tournament, which would give them back-to-back -back home games, assuming they were able to win in the first round. So a lot still on the line over the course of these final three games, including this one today against Holy Cross. As for the Holy Cross Saints, they have not been playing their best basketball of late. Actually, following a 4-2 start to conference play, they had lost 10 consecutive games, a streak that they stopped on Wednesday with a win over Robert Morris. A big win for them against the Robert Morris team that had actually been playing pretty well themselves coming into that one. So nothing is for certain in the conference this year in the CCAC. St. Francis, though, hoping that they can get a certain victory today against a team that, on paper, they shouldn't have too much trouble with. We'll see if that works out that way on the court. We've got the starting lineups coming up. Tip-off just a few minutes away right now. I'm going to turn things over to Dave Laquetta on the public address system to set up the national anthem. And join Ms. Julia Hinker in the singing of our star spangled band.
Rounding out the Saints lineup in the middle, a sophomore number 44, Kaylin Barlow. The Saints are coached by Miss Amy Mies Kotzen. And now the starting lineup for your Fighting Saints. And one guard spot, she's the front with seven inch junior from Wheaton, Illinois. Number 12, Ivana Markovic. And the other guard spot, a five foot nine inch senior from Bolingbrook, Illinois. Number 14, Kamari Jordan. At one forward spot, a six foot freshman from Algonquin, Illinois. Number 25, Paige Kieski. And at the other forward spot, a five foot 11 inch junior from South Elgin, Illinois. Number 32, Nicole Davidson. Rounding out the funny thing, line up in the middle, six foot sophomore from Elwood Park, Illinois. Number 31, Caitlin Elward. Fighting Saints are coached by Mr. Steve Brooks. You've got the starters now for both teams. The Saints wearing their pink jerseys today and throughout the month of February, promoting breast cancer awareness. Holy Cross is in black. They'll be going from left to right on your screen here in the first half, Fighting Saints. Going in the opposite direction. St. Francis comes in at 18 and seven, 14 and three in conference. Holy Cross 11 and 16. They are five and 12 so far this year in the CCAC. Players to watch for the Holy Cross Saints today, their senior guard, Tegan Schulteis, 16.8 points per game. And their junior forward, Keisha Streeter, averaging just below that at 16.6. She also hauls in eight rebounds per game. For the Fighting Saints of St. Francis, Caitlin Elward continues as the leading scorer 16.2 points and 6.8 rebounds per game, leading the team in both categories. Kamari Jordan at 15.2 points per game is just one three-pointer away from tying the school's all-time record. Here we go. Ready for the tip. It's Paige Gieske losing out on it to Kaylin Barlow, and away we go. Holy Cross takes the first possession. Back in early December in South Bend, St. Francis, Dow Holy Cross, a 64 to 61 defeat. Hoping for another result like that today. Although Steve Brooks could have it his way. Be a little bit easier than the three point game they played two months ago. Shot clock down to four, Holy Cross in trouble. The ball is knocked out of bounds, but it'll stay with the visiting team with just three to shoot. Well, that's it. Got to play going very quickly here as Tegan Schulteis goes to toss it in. Right along the sideline next to the St. Francis bench. Pass goes into Alex Forster. Forster on the run, loses control of the ball, and that's a shot clock violation. Pretty nice start defensively for the number one defense in the CCAC. The Fighting Saints holding teams this year to under 60 points per game. And a shot clock violation on the first possession today. This is Paige Gieske getting her first touch on the right wing. Swung around the perimeter, looking inside for Gieske. Kamari Jordan's pass is deflected and taken away. This is Jessica Norris for Holy Cross. Just about a minute into the action, no score just yet. Forster around the Barlow screen. Cuts to the hoop, stripped by Markovic, taken away. Ivana Markovic, one on three, slows it down a little bit. Here's Nicole Davidson at the top of the key driving and kicking back out to Markovic, who may have gotten an assist from the referee there. Ball deflected off the official. It looked like it was going either out of bounds or backcourt. But because it slowed down off the deflection, Markovic was able to chase it down. Now just eight on the shot clock. Davidson pass is deflected. Brought in by Caitlin Aylward. Four to shoot. Kamari Jordan back to Aylward. Has to throw one up from three-point range. It's an air ball. And just three total possessions. Make that four total possessions into the game. We've already seen two shot clock violations. In fact, that was the first shot thrown up today. Four possessions in this game, two for each side, four turnovers in the game, and finally a clean shot goes up from Tegan Schulteis. It's no good, but the putback falls for Kaylin Barlow. Barlow's got her first rebound and her first points of the game. Two to nothing, Holy Cross takes the lead two minutes in. This is Kaitlyn Aylward holding on the left wing and passing it off to Paige Gieske. 
Here's Jordan. Shot clock down to 12. Gieske to Davidson from the circle. The jumper falls. Nice shot. Nicole Davidson entered play today, shooting 50% on the season. Best among St. Francis starters, and she knocks down the long two-point jumper to get the scoring started for the Saints in this game. Barlow in the post against Davidson, taken away by Markovic. Her second steal already. Lobbed ahead for Caitlin Aylward, and it slips through her fingers and out of bounds. Pass maybe a little underthrown from Ivana Markovic, a nice idea. Tried to push it out in front of Aylward and let her run it down. Pass came up a little bit short, and Aylward never got her grasp on it cleanly. So it's another St. Francis turnover. They're third already in four possessions. This is Norris working around a screen to the left side. Shot clock under 10. Schultz tries the three. No good. Rebound to Paige Gieske, and she's fouled by Streeter. Lisa Streeter came in from behind Gieske, who will not get credit for the rebound, but does secure the possession for St. Francis, who can take their first lead of the game. Two to two, seven minutes to play in the first quarter. That foul on Streeter is the first foul of the game on either side. Kamari Jordan dribbles to her left, pulls up to the free throw line, and gets it back outside to Markovic. Ivana Markovic, nice crossover, gets to the basket and draws another foul. That'll be the second on Streeter, and that's a big one for the leading scorer on Holy Cross this year. Second leading scorer. But just five total points behind Schulteis for the top spot in the scoring column for Holy Cross this year as Markovic knocks down the first free throw. Saints have their first lead. Streeter checks out, and the question will be how long is she going to be on the bench? It's a player that Holy Cross can't afford to be without for too long, and yet she's at two fouls just three minutes and 18 seconds into the game. The pass slips through the fingers of Jessica Norris, picked up by St. Francis. Gieske ahead to Jordan. Jordan off the glass, rolls it in. 6-0 run for St. Francis. Norris gives it to Tegan Schulteis. Out to Forster. Forster steps in and kicks out to Aaron Leak. Leak getting the action in place of Streeter here. And that's Kaylin Barlow down low with a nice move in the post. Getting the Saints of Holy Cross back on the board, 6-4. Kamari Jordan. Rolls to her right. Step back jumper off the mark. A little too strong. Rebounded by Holy Cross. 6 to 4, St. Francis. Holy Cross has gotten all of their points from the center. Kaylin Barlow so far. They'll try one from the outside here, and the three pointer drops for Jessica Norris. Norris, far and away, the best outside shooter on Holy Cross. And five straight points for them. Makes it a 7-6 game. Holy Cross back in front. Kaylin Elward in the post. Nice move to get around Forster. And bank it in from underneath. The Saints are back in front. The Fighting Saints, that is. Here's Forster. Excuse me, Norris. Bouncing low to Barlow. Quickly double team. Back outside Norris. Aaron Leak will try a three. In and out. Rebound to Gieske. Gieske likes to run when she gets the boards. This time she'll slow it down across half court. Kamari Jordan long, three uncontested, and it falls. Three points for Kamari Jordan. She's got five in the game. That was from long range, but all alone. And no doubt about it out of the hands of the senior guard. Barlow's pass tipped and taken away by Caitlin Aylward. Elward walks it down the floor herself, back to Gieske. Paige Gieske, the only Saints starter, not yet to have scored. She'll try to get on the board in this possession. Off to Davidson. Here's Elward. Down low to Davidson, turn around, can't get it. Rebounded by Holy Cross. Aaron Leak guarded outside by Elward, passes to the left. 
Here's Forster, 15 to shoot. Barlow from the foul line, puts the ball on the floor, kicks it outside. Barlow in the post, one-on-one -on -one against Davidson, turn around, way off to the right. And another rebound for Gieske, and again, Gieske is out and running. Out to Jordan, Kamari Jordan for three, no. Rebound by Davidson, the Saints will try again. Jordan had another open look, this time she elected not to shoot. Saints will run the half court game. Davidson down low to Elward, out to Markovic. Ivana drives, gives it up to Elward, back up, in and one. Kaylin Elward doing some good work from underneath. Couple of baskets just underneath in this first quarter. She's got four points, a chance for number five as Forster and Barlow check out. And for St. Francis, Paige Gieske will head to the bench. Leah Sims getting her first action of the game. Raven Delph is in for Holy Cross. Now we're unable to complete the three-point play. Madison Tomlin is the other new player for Holy Cross. Timeout called by Holy Cross. 3.08 to play, first quarter. St. Francis 13, Holy Cross 7. It is a 7-0 run for the Fighting Saints. Amari Jordan's got five points early on. Caitlin Aylward's got four, but they've done a good job of spreading it around. Four different players have scored in the first seven minutes of this game. St. Francis playing well on the offensive end, and as usual, playing well on the defensive end. Nothing has come easy for Holy Cross, and nothing is going to come easy, you wouldn't think, for them with one of their star players on the bench, Keisha Streeter was pulled after just three minutes and 18 seconds. She picked up two quick fouls. Streeter averages 16 and a half points and eight rebounds per game. She had not amassed any statistics before checking out with those fouls early on in this one. Steve Brooks talking things over with his team on the bench right now. He's got to be happy with the way this game has started for the Fighting Saints, riding a six game winning streak coming in. Saints. Had won six consecutive games one other time this year. I misspoke earlier. I said that the streak had stopped at six games. It actually stopped at seven. Their seventh consecutive win during that stretch came against Holy Cross back on December 2nd. And now they've won six in a row again and are again trying to get number seven in a row against Holy Cross. 13 to seven, Fighting Saints on top. 3.08 to play first quarter and Holy Cross will inbound it from Mid-court, official having a quick talk with Steve Brooks first. And now everyone's ready to go. Aaron Leak, the inbounder. And taking Schultes and right back. Leak directing the offense. Around the screen from Delph. Pass back to Tomlin. Here's Norris at a three a few minutes ago. The only three-pointer of the game so far for Holy Cross. Three on the shot clock. Sophie drives, throws one up off the glass. No good. Rebounded by Davidson. Leah Sims in at point guard. Off to Kamari Jordan. Elward holds it at the top. Off to Davidson. Right back to a cutting Caitlin Aylward who lays it up, but blocked from behind by Raven Delph. Holy Cross on the run. This is Tomlin from the outside. Over to Aaron Leak. Down low, Delph all alone. An easy layup for Raven Delph. Junior center, averaging four points per game. That time she got in behind Davidson and had a free path to the basket. That snaps a 7-0 St. Francis run. Here's Leah Sims, holding on the outside, looking for help. She's got Aylward. Aylward will try the three-pointer in the face of Raven Delph, no good. And the rebound goes to Madison Tomlin. Holy Cross is down by just four. They can make it a one-possession game here. Delph, high post. Backing down, kicked out, deflected by Kamari Jordan, but she was unable to take it away. Aaron Leak retains possession for Holy Cross. 
Norris to leak down in the corner. She'll drive the baseline. Bounce to Dell. Turn around, stripped and taken away. Kamari Jordan came out of the fray with that steal. Jordan drives. Nice bounce pass to Caitlin Elward who lays it up and in. Six points for Elward and a beautiful assist from Jordan. Set up by that nice drive. Saints back up by six, their largest lead. Schulte strives and is blocked from behind by Davidson out of bounds. Here's Andriana Acosta into the game. Nicole Davidson heads out. And Schulte will get a brief rest for Holy Cross. Brooks Sterkowitz checks in for the first time. Answer from the defunct St. Joseph College. Aaron Leak may have gotten away with a travel there. Maybe did not have possession of the ball yet. Sterkowitz gives it up to Norris. Step back, long two-point jumper. No good, off the side iron, rebounded by Acosta. Here comes Markovic on the move. Markovic lobs it to the left side, and Kamari Jordan. Jordan gets inside on the drive, misses the shot, but draws the foul. Jordan heads to the free throw line. Kamari Jordan, an 84% foul shooter. There's a contact from Aaron Leak, her first foul. It's the team's third. And the first free throw good for Jordan. Six points, ties her with Caitlin Aylward for the team lead. Jordan hits one of two, Aylward gets the rebound. Shot clock is off, the Saints will hold on, and try for the final shot here. Leah Sims being guarded on the outside by Tomlin, who backs off a little bit. Sims not making any serious overtures toward the basket for another five seconds or so. Now she starts her move, drives, floater, gets the roll off the front iron, it trickles in. Three seconds left, here comes Leak. Aaron Leak throws a wild shot up, just misses, and that ends the first quarter. Strong finish to St. Francis's first period. They end the quarter on a 12 to two run and they carry an 18 to nine lead into the second. I'll take a quick break here, back with the second quarter in just a moment. Saints by nine on the USF Sports Network. There's a call to be answered. The spirit of competition is still alive inside. The desire still drives. The phrase student athlete has a great ring to it. Lasting friendships are ready to be made. You just want to keep playing. Game on. Build character for life at championsofcharacter.org. Great finish to the first quarter for the University of St. Francis. They outscored Holy Cross 12 to two over the final few minutes to take an 18 to nine lead into the second period of play. Six points apiece for Caitlin Aylward and Kamari Jordan. Two leading scorers today, two leading scorers on the season for St. Francis. And then it was the freshman, Leah Sims, finishing the quarter strong with a nice little runner. To add a couple more points to the score with just a few seconds remaining in the period. Saints start the second quarter out with Ivana Markovic, Andriana Acosta, Caitlin Aylward, Leah Sims, and Kamari Jordan on the floor. Sims receives the inbounds pass from Markovic, and here we go. Sims's pass for Aylward hits off the foot of Madison Tomlin. That's kick violation. Ball will stay with St. Francis. Shot clock still 25. Sims hands it off to Aylward. Down low to Acosta, turn around, off the glass, no. And rebounded by Aaron Lee. Leak drives, kicks it out to Norris, long two, rails it home. So it was just over the line there. Jessica Norris, an excellent outside shooter, has five points. Elward from the elbow, out to Jordan for three, short. And the rebound goes to Holy Cross. That was Anna Barlow bringing it in. Kalen's sister doesn't get as much playing time as Kalen Barlow, who is currently on the bench. But Amy Nispadziani is digging deep here in the first half with Keisha Streeter in some foul trouble. It's been a while since we've seen her out there. 
This is Barlow down low, bumped by Acosta, and that's a foul. Adriana Acosta called for the first foul of the game on St. Francis. Took him over 11 minutes to pick it up. Leak inbounds it. Quick three-point attempt from Sterkowitz is tipped by Kamari Jordan, and the Saints take it away. Markovic to Jordan. Kamari Jordan spins into the paint. Nice move up. No good. Gets their own rebound. Throws it back up off the glass and in. Nice work, Kamari Jordan sticking with it after a great drive, did not yield any points initially. Now Sturkowitz quickly on the other end, flies to the hoop and lays it in. First two points of the game for Brooks Sturkowitz. Saints by seven. This is Jordan. Elward in the corner, starts to drive. Elward bounces it out to Kamari Jordan, open three, rattles out. Rebound to Sterkowitz. Here's Barlow in the post, backing down on Acosta. Back outside, they'll reset. Morris to the right, Sterkowitz will try the three and hit it. This is the 12th three-pointer made this year by Brooks Sterkowitz, but it pulls Holy Cross to within four. Markovic dribbles inside. Markovic lays it up. No, met at the rim by Barlow. Nice defense. And the Fighting Saints come up empty on that trip. Here's Aaron Leak for Holy Cross. Picked out to Norris. Another three-point attempt. Rainbow shot bangs it in. Jessica Norris has eight points now. A couple of three-pointers. And suddenly Holy Cross is within one. They have begun this second quarter on a 10-2 run after what had been a 12-2 run for the Saints, which ended the first quarter. Jordan, looking around, finds Markovic on her left. Ivana Markovic with under 10 on the shot clock, crosses over, lobs it inside for Aylward, double team. Kaylin Aylward forces it back outside. Leah Sims, three-pointer, hits it home. Leah Sims has five points, a three-pointer with one on the shot clock. Sims has provided a nice spark off the bench today. A uh, basket that the Fighting Saints really needed as the momentum had clearly shifted. Tomlin, an awkward looking shot. Can't hit the three, it's rebounded by Acosta. There's Leah Sims over to her right. Kamari Jordan will try another three and hit it. Kamari Jordan for three, she's got 11. 26-19, St. Francis. A three-pointer for Kamari Jordan. Gives her the school record as Kaylin Aylward comes away with a steal. 283 career three-pointers for Jordan, more than any other fighting Saint in school history. She's got 60 of them this year. Leah Sims with eight on the shot clock. Crosses over to her right and passes to Markovic. Donna Markovic on a drive. Dished out to Acosta. Long jumper, no. Offensive rebound. Aylward puts it back up and draws the foul. This will go against Anna Barlow. That's Barlow's first. It's the team's first. And Aylward is at the free throw line for two shots. First one is good. Substitutions galore for the Fighting Saints. Paige Gieske and Ali Hernandez come in. Kamari Jordan and Ivana Markovic head out. Rare rests for both of those players. Kaitlin Aylward's going to get a breather as well as Nicole Davidson is ready to check in for her. And as she makes the second free throw, Davidson can check in. So Paige Gieske, the only starter on the floor now for the Fighting Saints. Check that, Nicole Davidson came in as well. So two starters on the floor along with Acosta, Sims, and Hernandez. Long three misses from Sterkowitz. 
A very quick 8-0 run for St. Francis has extended their lead back up to nine. And they can add more to it right here with Acosta passing off to Davidson. Eski hands it off to Leah Sims. Ten on the shot clock. Sims on the outside, guarded by Forster, drives to the left. Dished off to Davidson. Baseline jumper. Misses short. Offensive rebound. Paige Gieske. Gieske is intercepted, though. Acosta well covered underneath. Gieske didn't see the defense. Kalen Barlow can't corral that pass from, Te from Tegan Schultes. And it's out of bounds. An unforced turnover. That one hurts for Holy Cross. As it seemed like they had a little bit of a break going. Davidson. To Gieske. Gieske drives at the left hand, runs it in, and scores off the glass. Great drive by Paige Gieske. And she's on the board with her first two points. Sixth fighting Saint to put her name in the score column today. Here's Barlow at the free throw line. Norris around the screen. Bounce down low to Kaylin Barlow. Big size advantage against Davidson, but can't get the roll on the left-handed shot. And the rebound ticks over to Leah Sims. 10-0 run for St. Francis. Sims to Hernandez. Ellie well, Hernandez coming off of a career-high 15-point performance against Trinity Christian on Wednesday. Gieske drives and scores. Great layup, Paige Gieske. That's her second consecutive drive. Pretty much uncontested to the basket. She has looked awfully good here in the second quarter. 12-0 run for St. Francis. Norris, down low to Kaylin Barlow. Out to Forster for three. Way off. Rebound, bounces around and finds the hands of Andriana Acosta. Just about three minutes to play in the first half. Tegan Schultes has not scored yet today. Acosta in the corner, drives, pulls it out, passes out, Gieske for three, got it! Paige Gieske has scored seven in a row and a timeout called by Holy Cross. It's a 15 to nothing St. Francis run. And they've turned a 20 to 19 game into a 35 to 19 blowout at this point. Still plenty of time for Holy Cross to get back into it, but a great run here for the Fighting Saints. Here's Paige Gieske's three on the last possession. Gieske not a big outside shooter. But she's been getting to the basket in a big way these last few minutes. And this time able to find herself open from the outside. It's her ninth three-pointer of the year. I mentioned before, Tegan Schultes has not scored yet for Holy Cross. Neither has Keisha Streeter. Streeter has sat for the last 14 minutes after picking up her second foul early in the first period. She's back in the game now. There's two players who average a combined 33 plus points per game this year. And more than 17 minutes into the action today, they have combined on zero. Big part of the reason Holy Cross finds themselves down by 16. Anna Barlow is back in the game. And Barlow passes out to Norris. This is Forster over Schultes. Down low, Anna Barlow in the post. Keisha Streeter. Norris wanted to take that deep three. She'll get a screen and pop from a different location. No good. Saints take it the other way. Mari Jordan backs it up. Bounced over to Ali Hernandez. Hernandez to Acosta. Over to Davidson. 11 on the shot clock. Nicole Davidson to Acosta in the post. And we got to travel. Andriana Acosta shuffled her feet just before taking the shot. It's a turnover for St. Francis, and Acosta will head out. Mari Jordan, Caitlin Aylward back on the floor now for St. Francis. Ali Hernandez, the only sub who remains in the game. This is Schulte. Passing to her right, Norris. Reader flips to the cross court. Forster for three. Rattles at home. Alex Forster picks up her first three points of the game. 
And that snaps the St. Francis 15 to nothing run. Davidson to a cutting Aylward underneath. Dribbles out from underneath the basket and passes off to Kamari Jordan. Jordan drives, spins, flips it towards the hoop. Yes, and she draws the foul. Kamari Jordan has 13 points. It has been a splendid first half for the senior guard. First foul on Forster, second on the team. And Jordan's free throw bounces in. 14 points for the senior guard. Down to the final 80 seconds of the half. This is Schultes. Bouncing to a cutting Norris. It's deflected out of bounds. And last touched by St. Francis. 17 seconds on the shot clock. They'll start over here. Inbounded to Norris, who tries to get it inside for Streeter. Again, it's knocked away by Kaylin Elwood. And taken out of bounds. It'll still be Holy Cross basketball. Three more seconds ticked off the shot clock. It's at 14 now. Streeter stripped out of bounds. And last that time, Streeter's the last one to touch it. So three times on the possession, ball is knocked away from Holy Cross out of bounds. And for the first time, it goes off the offense. And St. Francis is able to take over for the final minute of the first half. Ali Hernandez over to Nicole Davidson. Davidson drives, bump, no call, and she throws it towards the hoop unsuccessfully. Lob down the floor for Streeter. Fade away, shot good from just underneath, and finally, Keisha Streeter is on the board. There's two points for her or for either of Holy Cross's top two scores. It's 38-24. Davidson pull up jumper, well short. Rebound to Norris, and Norris is running down the far side. Norris bounces it to Streeter, whose pass is deflected out of bounds by Caitlin Aylward. Shot clock is off, 21 seconds to play in the half. And Forster will inbound. Into Norris. Norris down low for Anna Barlow, back out to Norris. Norris to Barlow, jumper, good. Anna Barlow has her first two points of the game. Saints have seven seconds to get the final shot off here. Amari Jordan gets inside, floats it towards the hoop, off the back iron, it rolls home, and that will end the first half. Amari Jordan picks up her 15th and 16th points of the half. A great first 20 minutes for Kamari Jordan and the Fighting Saints. 16 points for Jordan, 40 for St. Francis. They lead Holy Cross 40 to 26. We'll be back in about 15 minutes with stats from the first half. Get you ready for the second 20 minutes of the game as the Saints try to bring home their seventh consecutive victory. I'm going to step aside for halftime. Plenty more basketball still to come, though, right here on the USF Sports Network.
Back at the University of St. Francis in Joliet. It's been a fun start to this game. Fighting Saints lead the Holy Cross Saints 40 to 26 at the half. Barry Bonadonna back with you as we get set for the second half of action here inside the Sullivan Center. Saints led so far by their senior star, Kamari Jordan, 16 points on 6 of 11 first half shooting. So a great start to her. She's also had a couple of three pointers, making her now the all time St. Francis leader in that category. They've also gotten some good contributions really up and down the lineup. Paige Gieske, seven points on three of three shooting. Caitlin Hayward's got eight points, three steals early on in today's game. And the biggest key has probably been defensively, the leading scorer for Holy Cross this year, Tegan Schultz. He's averaging just under 17 points per game, is scoreless on just 0 of 4 shooting. Meanwhile, Keisha Streeter, who averages 16 and a half points per game herself, has just two points on one of one shooting. So two players who average about 33 per game combined have a combined total of two so far today. The defense has been the key all season for St. Francis, and today is no different as they come out to take the floor for the second half of play. Two sides have reversed positions with the Saints now going from left to right, and Holy Cross going from right to left. Forster will inbound with Anna Barlow, Aaron Leak, Jessica Norris, and Keisha Streeter on the floor. As for the Fighting Saints, the five starters are out there. Markovic, Alward, Davidson, Gieske, and Jordan. We're underway. And Caitlin Alward has her fourth steal of the game. Took her about three seconds into the second half to add to that total. She just ripped that ball away on the attempted entry pass. Davidson nearly threw it away. The Elwood was able to reach her arm out and pull it in. Jordan. Caitlin Elwood the top to Nicole Davidson. To a cutting Caitlin Elwood down low up with the right hand and rolls it in. After a good, quick steal on the defensive side, a long, methodical offensive possession. They take 26 seconds and ultimately get a good shot from Caitlin Elward, who joins Kamari Jordan in double figures. Ten points for her. And Paige Gieske called for the foul. Thought that she had a clean steal there, but she is whistled for the infraction. Actually, it's not going to go on Gieske. It's away from the play. It was on Ivana Markovic. So that's Markovic's first and the team's first. Not a lot of fouls in that first half. Saints committed only one as an entire team. Holy Cross had six here, and there's Jessica Norris for three. Third three-pointer of the game for Norris. He's got 11 points. Elward over to Jordan. Mari Jordan puts the ball on the floor, spins into the paint, bounces underneath to Nicole Davidson, whose reverse layup is good. Four points for Davidson. And Kamari Jordan's got three assists. Forster. Pulled back and passed out to Leak. Aaron Leak step back three. That's good. Holy Cross shooting well from beyond the arc today. They are six of 14 as a team. Not a big three point shooting ball club usually, aside from Jessica Norris. Shoots them very well at 36%. Really don't have any outside shooters on the team. Elwood drives, scores, and draws the foul. Kaylin Elwood off to a strong start in the second half. She is headed to the free throw line looking for a three point play. And the foul is the second on Anna Barlow. Got her on the arm as Elwood went up for the shot. Kaylin Elwood misses on the free throw. It is a 14-point lead for St. Francis. Another three-point attempt for Norris, and she hits it again. Fourth three-pointer of the game for Norris. She's four of five from beyond the arc. And she is almost single-handedly keeping her team in the game with 14 points now. Elward to Jordan. Passed off to Paige Gieske, bounce to the cutting. Elward, layup is good. Good ball movement. That's six points in the second half so far for Elward, six of the team's first eight. Forster drives, bounces it back out. Holy Cross is in some trouble because of what I was talking about a moment ago. Outside of Norris, they don't have a lot of outside shooting. They can't afford to see themselves fall this far behind because there's just not enough offensive firepower to get back into it. 
Although Erin Leak did hit a three-pointer a couple of minutes ago. She misses this one. But an offensive rebound for Keisha Streeter. Norris looking back for Streeter, but it's knocked away and out of bounds. It'll stay with Holy Cross. 23 on the shot clock. Streeter is fouled from behind by Davidson. Keisha Streeter just had good position on Davidson at the start of the inbounds play. Davidson had no choice but to wrap around and try to prevent the easy basket. Probably would have been a layup had it not been for the foul. Streeter out to Forster. To the right side, this is Leak. Leak drives, floats it towards the hoop, comes up a little bit short, offensive rebound Streeter. Back outside, Forster for three, too strong. Rebound tipped by Aylward and out to Streeter. Another offensive board. She drives, lays it out, no. And Streeter gets her own rebound. Three-pointer Norris, good. Justin Norris hits her fifth three-pointer of the game, and it comes on the fifth chance of the possession after four offensive rebounds for Holy Cross. And Steve Brooks not terribly enthused about that. He calls a timeout. He'll call his team over to talk things over. Full timeout. 48-38 our score. Holy Cross, an excellent shooting start to the second half as they have already hit as many three-pointers in the second half as they did in the first four of them. To pull within 10, they were down by 14 at the break, and Holy Cross really has not been getting it done on defense in the second half. St. Francis has been able to get to the basket at will, but it's those offensive rebounds for Holy Cross that have set up shots like that that have turned this game around in Holy Cross's favor. Now they still trail by 10 points, but in much better shape now than they were just a couple of minutes ago. Saints got 16 first half points from Kamari Jordan. He was obviously the star of the half, going six of 11 from the field. Here in the second half, it's been the Caitlin Aylward show offensively for St. Francis. Aylward has eight points already in the second half. Excuse me, six points already in the second half. He had eight in the first half, up to 14 now for the game. St. Francis still in good shape, but they've gone through some rough patches in games recently, and Steve Brooks wants to nip this one in the bud. In their most recent game against Trinity Christian on Wednesday, they were down by as many as 19 points in the first half before they roared from behind to win by seven. Today they've held the lead pretty much the entire way, and Steve Brooks wants to keep it that way. This is Paige Gieske. Saints out of the timeout with the same five players on the floor. Jordan hits the three. Kamari Jordan's got 19. And that's a nice play drawn up out of the timeout. Forster around the screen. Picks up her dribble and bounces it over to Lee. Norris has been red hot. This time she passes it off to Lee. 10 to shoot. Bounce low for Streeter. Streeter up over Aylward and in. Keisha Streeter's got four points. She has played very well in the second half. You can see what this team was missing when she was on the floor for only six minutes in the first half because of foul trouble. Aylward drives, dishes it off to Gieske. Back inside to Caitlin Aylward. Bounces once and kicks it into the corner. Markovic for three, short. Keisha Streeter for Holy Cross. Hagen Schultes has been on the bench the entire second half for Holy Cross. Saints leading scorer on the season. 0 for 4 from the field today, and we haven't seen her in a while. Ball knocked out of the hands of Aaron Leak, and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by St. Francis. Adriana Costa set to check in, and she'll come in right now for Caitlin Aylward. Nope, it's going to be Nicole Davidson. Aylward will stay in. Into Streeter. Out to Norris. Back down low, Streeter. Up over Acosta, not this time. Rebounded by Elwood. Elwood thought about the three. She puts the ball on the floor instead. Gets inside, blocked by Anna Barlow. Forster out to Norris. Under five minutes to play in the third quarter. Norris looking low for Streeter, who drops to her knees to keep that ball in play. 
but it is ultimately given up to the Saints as Forster tried to keep it from going out of bounds. Saves it right to St. Francis and Kamari Jordan called for the double dribble. Turnover committed by St. Francis. They had just five of them in the first half. Pretty good number when you consider they had turnovers on each of their first two possessions. They only had three the rest of the half. Here's Leak. Passing to the right side in Norris. Norris drives the left hand, dishes it outside. Barlow. Norris, Norris working against Markovic. Down low for Streeter, the pass overthrown. Streeter keeps it alive though, three on the shot clock. Forster, step back three, blocked, and pulled in by Markovic. Just before the shot clock expired, Ivana Markovic leading the way for St. Francis. Off to Kamari Jordan, and she slows it down. Pass to the right side, Caitlin Aylward. Down low, Jordan, layup, good. It's gone the other way most of the game. Jordan finding a uh, cutting Aylward to the hoop. This time, Jordan cuts and scores. She's got 18. Aaron Leak around the screen, runs towards the hoop and comes up a little bit short on her layup attempt. Battle for the rebound. We got a tie up and the possession arrow faces St. Francis. Leah Sims checks in for the Fighting Saints. H. Gieske gets a rest. And Tegan Schultes is back in for Holy Cross. First time she's been on the floor in the second half. 17 point per game scorer for the season, but scoreless in this one. Here's Leah Sims walking it slowly across the timeline. Sims passes to Elwood. Now Costa over to Ivana Markovic, left wing, guarded by Norris. Back back at 10. Leah Sims drives, kicks, Elwood for three. Air ball, rebound, Markovic who flies in and lays it up. Nice play by Ivana Markovic cleaning up that air ball three-point attempt. This is Schultes, passing off to Norris on the left side. And to shoot, Norris, guided by Markovic. Picks it up, lobs it for Streeter, who can't handle it. Taken away by Andriana Acosta. Another steal for St. Francis. We've had a lot of them tonight. Markovic. Up top to Jordan. Jordan for three. Off to the left. And the rebound goes in that direction to Norris. Norris fires it down court to Tegan Schultes, who can't handle it initially. Pulls it in, passes it off to Sterkowitz, who misses the jumper. And there's a foul called on Streeter. That's her third. Loose ball foul called on Keisha Streeter, the team's third. Check that's the team's second foul. Streeter's got three of them with two minutes to play in the third quarter. Drive from Jordan. Jordan tries to bank it in. No. Second chance, Aylward. No. She gets it back. And Aylward this time pulls it out. Leah Sims resets the offense. 20 seconds on the shot clock. It's Acosta. Off to the right side, Kamari Jordan. Jordan picks up her dribble. Needs some help. And finds Leah Sims. And to shoot. Sims lobbed down low for Aylward, double teamed, out to an open shooter. Jordan for three, comes up short. Another offensive rebound, Markovic back up, no, and she's fouled. That was the third offensive rebound of the possession. It was the second offensive rebound of the quarter for Ivana Markovic. And now she gets to go to the free throw line as the Saints try to finally get something out of this possession, in which they've already missed three shots. Markovic, two of two from the line tonight. She hits the first. Donna Markovic scores about seven points per game. She's got three in this one. All of them from the free throw stripe. Madison Tomlin is back in for Holy Cross. <laughs> Shot 
Second shot rims out. Another offensive rebound. Aylward forces it up. No good. Rebounded by Acosta. Five offensive rebounds on this possession for St. Francis. They've got one point on it so far. Aylward to the hoop. Lays it in. Took a while to get there, but the Saints end up with three points on that trip down the floor. Kalen Aylward's now got 16. Schultes drives, dishes to Streeter. Nice find, and Keisha Streeter finishes it off. Six for the junior. 16-point lead for the Fighting Saints. Amari Jordan drives, gets between a couple of defenders, scores, and draws the foul. Come the basket for Amari Brooks Sturkowitz called for her second foul. It's the team's fourth, so the Saints are in the bonus, but with only 35 seconds remaining in the quarter. Cody Brand comes in for Caitlin Aylward, who's had a really nice period. Eight points scored here in the third. Jordan hits the, three, the free throw. It is a three-point play. Big game tonight for Kamari Jordan. 23 points. Three-pointer for Schultes. Drops it. First points of the game for Chagan Schultes come in the final minute of the third quarter. Still a 16-point lead for the Fighting Saints. Leah Sims will take her time here. No shot clock. Seems to try to get the final shot. Sims with eight seconds. Starts to make her move. Gets inside, floats it towards the back of the rim. No good. Offensive rebound Costa back up, block, and that'll end the quarter. Sims ended the first period on that same play. Tried to do it again here, but couldn't get the roll. St. Francis had a nice offensive quarter, but Holy Cross hung with him. The lead extended by just two points since halftime. Still a healthy advantage for the Saints. 61-45 at the end of the fourth. We'll take a break here, but back in just a minute with the fourth quarter of action. St. Francis and Holy Cross here on the USF Sports Network. There's a call to be answered. The spirit of competition is still alive inside. The desire still drives. The phrase student athlete has a great ring to it. Lasting friendships are ready to be made. You just want to keep playing. Game on. Get in the game at playnaia.org. 61-45, St. Francis leads Holy Cross as he gets set to start the fourth quarter. Caitlin Elward scored eight points, as did Kamari Jordan in the third. Both of them, or I should say, Elward really doing most of her work early in the quarter, and Jordan really getting hot late in the quarter. She's up to 24 for the game. St. Francis had eight offensive rebounds in the third quarter alone. They've got 13 of them for the game. They're out rebounding Holy Cross, 28 to 21. Jessica Norris has had a big game for Holy Cross. 17 points for her on six of eight shooting. Five of six from beyond the three-point arc, but has not been enough for Holy Cross, who has not gotten a lot of contributions from their big scores. Mr. Streeter and Tegan Schultes have combined on just nine points in the game. This is Schultes in control of the ball, getting it inside to Streeter. Turns around and meets Andriana Acosta. She passes back out. Sturkowicz drives and dishes and out of bounds. Schultes could not control that ball. Hit off her hand and, and right off the sideline. Another turnover committed by Holy Cross. They've turned the ball over 13 times in the game. St. Francis only six. This is Aylward, guarded outside by Streeter. She hands the ball off to Ivana Markovic. Leah Sims. To Markovic, 11 on the shot clock. It's Ali Hernandez. Hernandez's pass to Sims is deflected and a foul called on Taven Schultes. Senior out of Mishawaka, Indiana. Called for her second foul. What a frustrating game for her. Aylward looking for help, finds Sims. Sims over to Ivana Markovic. Hey, 
Down low to Elward, one dribble, up and in. Lays it up right underneath. Kalen Elward's got 18 points. Off the hands of Keisha Streeter and out of bounds. Not able to haul that pass in. Another turnover for Holy Cross, St. Francis basketball. Up by 18 points, trying to cruise to their seventh consecutive victory. Ivana Markovic looking around, finds Caitlin Aylward. Aylward puts it on the floor and dishes it out to Leah Sims. Sims, jump stop, bounced to Acosta. Now Aylward forces it up, no good. Aaron Leak ahead to Tomlin. Now right side, Schultes hits another three. Second three-pointer made by Tegan Schultes. Both of them in the second half, both within the last two minutes of game time. Schultes just a 31% shooter from beyond the arc. But she takes a lot of them. About 10 three-point shots per game. She has attempted five of them today. Down low, Acosta in the post. Nice move on Tomlin. She banks it in. Schultes drives. Finds Tomlin along the baseline and a foul call. That's an offensive foul. Allie Hernandez stood in there and took the charge. And another turnover. Jessica Norris back in the game for Madison Tomlin. Norris, Norris has been the only consistent scorer for Holy Cross today. She's got 17 of the team's 48 points. Acosta to Aylward, and Aylward lays it in. Good find Acosta off the cut, and a timeout is called by St. Francis. 7.28 to play in the fourth quarter. So the Saints up by 19. This game not over yet. We'll see if Holy Cross has a run in them, but it's Looking very good for St. Francis to pull together their seventh consecutive victory. It'll be their 15th win of the conference season. Kaylin Aylward's been doing that all night, really all season, but I should say all afternoon today. She's really done a great job of moving without the ball and getting herself to the basket with regularity. She's had a lot of open layups. And as a result, it's gone nine of 16 from the field for 20 points. Two teams head back out onto the floor with St. Francis, possessing a 19-point lead. This is tied for their largest of the game. Schultes. Around the screen from Streeter, tries another three, it's good. All of a sudden, Tegan Schultes has gotten hot. Three consecutive made three-point shots for the senior guard. She's got nine points in the game. She's now three of five from beyond the arc today. As Ivana Markovic streaks to the hoop and lays it in. First field goal of the game for Markovic. She's got seven points. Check that, she did have that put back back in the third quarter. She's got two made field goals, seven points, and a defensive foul call on St. Francis. It goes on Leah Sims with the bump. Here's Kamari Jordan in for Ivana Markovic. Markovic played all 40 minutes of the win against Trinity Christian the other day. She's gotten a couple of rests in this one. Forster to the right from Schulte. Schulte drives the baseline, blocked by Aylward, gets it back, blocked again. And now it's tipped out to Streeter, and Keisha Streeter is able to push it home from a couple of feet out. Third chance of the possession. Well defended by St. Francis. The Holy Cross ends up getting the two out of it. Cutting the deficit 17. Aylin Aylward directing the offense, driving with the left hand, pushing it out to an open shooter. Aylward hits the three. Kamari Jordan, excuse me, at the pass from Aylward. Kamari Jordan's got 27 as Aylward picks up the assist. Here's Forster, long two, off the mark. Rebounded by Keisha Streeter. Passes to Schultes, and Schultes lays it in. Schultes in double figures, scoring now. Jordan. 
Jordan drives to the right, pulls up, passes out to Hernandez. In the corner, Aylward for three. Off the top of the backboard, but an offensive rebound for Acosta. Hernandez starts to drive, bounces back, and now passes to a cutting Leah Sims, and Sims can't quite finish, but Acosta comes away with the ball. Nice work by Acosta, not giving up after Holy Cross had seemed to bring in the rebound. Hernandez to Elward, 11 to shoot. It's Jordan passing inside to Elward, who lays it up and in. It's been a great two-man game today. Elward's got 22 points, three assists. Jordan's got 27 points, five assists, and the two of them have been passing back and forth, leading to buckets all game. Norris, five of six from beyond the arc in this game. This time she drives and misses on the layup. Leah Sims with four and a half minutes to play in the game. Over to Acosta on her right. Hernandez passes to Elwood, who just does keep it in bounds. Here's Sims with six on the shot clock. Sims crossing over on Forster out to Hernandez. She tries the three. A little bit short, rebounded by Norris. Norris passes to Schultes, three-pointer is good. Schultes is hot from beyond the arc. 13 points for taking Schultes. I don't know where this came from. Just a 31% three-pointer who couldn't get anything to fall in the first half. Suddenly can't miss from the outside. Three-pointer for Jordan, too strong. Rebounded by Forster. Schultes to Norris. Right side, Aaron Leak. Leak driven with the left hand, gets inside and passes out. Schultes tries another three and hits it. Dagan Schultes did not score until the final minute of the third quarter. She's got 16 now as St. Francis calls a timeout. Steve Brooks not thrilled with the way Tegan Schultes has been able to get some of those shots up lately, uncontested on a few of them. All right, so he talks things over with his team, up by 14, with just about three minutes to play in the game. This is the most recent three-pointer for Tegan Schultes, and as you can see, no one there. It seems a little slow to close in. Still 14-point lead for St. Francis as they look to improve to 19-7 and seven for the season. Trying to improve to 15 and three in conference. They're in third place in the conference right now. Olivet Nazarene just in front of them at 16 and one. Olivet's playing today against Trinity Christian. And the Saints certainly hoping for Trinity Christian to pull that one out because with three games left on the schedule, the Saints still do have an opportunity to get a two seed in the conference tournament. They need to beat Olivet Nazarene when they play them on Wednesday. And they need Olivet to lose one of their games either today against Trinity Christian or next week against Trinity International. The Saints would have the tiebreaker all of it if they beat them on Wednesday. You see there's St. Francis, no shot to catch St. Xavier at this point. But they still could catch all of that for the two seed. And what would that mean? Mostly the primary concern would mean that if they met up in the second round of the conference tournament, St. Francis would have home court advantage. We're going to see all of that on the Saints home court. On Wednesday, that's going to be a big game. Should be a lot of fun. It's always fun when you play Olivet and their crazy offensive style of game against St. Francis' stout defense. Should be very interesting on Wednesday. Amari Jordan fires it down low to Elwood, and Elwood lays in another one. And another assist for Jordan. That pass from Schultes deflected up in the air and intercepted by Ali Hernandez. Saints looking to salt this one away. Gieske down into the corner for Elwood. Back to Paige Gieske in the corner. She pulls it to the top. Starts her drive and bounces over to Hernandez. Hernandez to Elwood for three. No good. And a loose ball foul called, I think, on Acosta pushing off. I'm taking Schultes. 
Cody Brand back into the game. Kaitlin Elward with her 24 points grabs a seat. And it's probably done for the day unless Holy Cross makes a little run here and tighten it up. Asia McConaughey is going to come in as well. Uh, Costa checks out. Schultes guarded by Gieske. Tries another three and finally she cools down. An ill advised shot, bit of a heat check right there. Couldn't get it, knocked out of bounds, last touched by Holy Cross, St. Francis basketball. A win for the Fighting Saints today would clinch no worse than the third seed in the conference tournament beginning on February 20th. Cody Brand stripped, ball loose, Brand gets it back. And she's fouled from behind by Keisha Streeter, her fourth. St. Francis in this game has only committed five total fouls as a team. And the Sims in for Kamari Jordan. Jordan checks out with 27 points. And likely done for the day. Inbound it to Cody Brand. Brand pulls the ball down after catching it and nearly throws it away. But Alan Hernandez is there to scoop it up. from Gieske and she fouled. Paige Gieske to the free throw line. Foul is Alex Forster's second. It's the team's fourth. Saints into the bonus with a minute 45 to go. Gieske hits on the first free throw. She's got eight points. The first seven all came in about a minute long stretch late in the second quarter. And now finally back on the board. The freshman's got nine. Here's Leak driving around Hernandez, pushing it off the backboard, no good. Cody Brand secures the rebound and now races down the floor before handing it off to Leah Sims. Hernandez, right wing. To Gieske. Cody Brand on the drive, turnaround, hook shot with the right hand. No, McConaughey rebound, back up and in. Asia McConaughey scores. And the Saints lead by 20. 80 to 60. About into the final minute, that ball rolls out of bounds on an errant pass. St. Francis takes possession with 106 on the clock. Sims to Gieske. McConaughey on the left wing. Here is Ali Hernandez driving to the left. Hernandez into the corner for Brand. And to shoot. Cody Brand jumps stop the paint. Up with the right hand. No. And the rebound goes to Aaron Lee. To the left and Norris. Jessica Norris, passes to cutting Tegan Schulte, who loses possession, picked up by Leah Sims, and just about a half second separates the shot and game clocks now. Saints may not have to shoot again. Sims guarded outside by Aaron Lee. Quick moving game today. We're gonna get this thing finished in well under an hour and a half, and I guess that's the sort of thing that happens when one team only commits five fouls for the game. Not a lot of free throws today, not a lot of timeouts because the Saints had this one wrapped up relatively early in the second quarter. Shot clock goes off, still .3 seconds to go in the game. Holy Cross just walks back to their bench. I think the officials just gonna let it go. Those final .3 seconds will tick off without any game action and this is a final. St. Francis defeats Holy Cross by a final score of 80 to 60, the seventh consecutive win for the Fighting Saints. And they've got two games to go this season. They'll try to end the year on a nine-game winning streak. Both of those games to end the year will come right here at the Sullivan Center. And I don't like the way things have been going for the Saints. Things are set up well for a strong ending to the season. Seven-game winning streak. The defense really playing well. And today the offense stepped in as well, putting 80 points on the board. This is the most points the Saints have scored in a game since January 24th when they beat Trinity International 91-50. to but it's only the fourth time this year that they've hit the 80-point mark 
in any game. So really an impressive offensive showing the defense stepped up today as well. So a good game all around for St. Francis today. The 80 to 60 victory against Holy Cross improving to 19 and 7 on the season. And they improve their conference record now to 15 and 3. And I'm joined by the victorious head coach of the Fighting Saints, Steve Brooks. Coach, congratulations on the win. Things really seem to turn around in the second quarter. You go on a 15-0 run turning a one-point game into a 16-point game. What do you think was the key to that stretch? I think our defense, I think our intensity on defense, uh, you know, we, we faltered a little bit late, giving up threes, but for the most part, our intensity on defense, that's a really good uh, shooting team. They can, they can score out of a lot of different places on the floor, and I thought we did a good job in that second quarter limiting them. We've talked a lot about the defense. We talked about it pregame as well. The, the team has been great defensively. Gave up 60 points today, so another good defensive performance. But today, the offense really stepped up as well. 80 I, points. Yes, I, the, the, we played together today. We moved the ball. We played together. We hit the open person. There was a lot of good quality movement. Um, and when we play like that, we're going to be hard to play against. Kamari Jordan, 27 points today. She also became St. Francis' all-time three-point leader. How important has she been to the team this year, especially for somebody like you in your first year with the program, to have a senior like that who can put up games like this? She's been incredibly important. Um, and when we struggle, it's usually when she's struggling. Um, the bottom line in the whole thing is we have, um, you know, she, she can do so many things to make everybody around her better. Um, she's that kind of player. Um, you know, today, I, I don't know how many assists she had. I, the stats are right there. But, um, you know, she made plays for people. Uh, how many did she get? Six assists. She had six assists today. Six assists. Yeah. You know, and 27.6 assists, that's a, that's a good day's work. And uh, when she plays like that, we're a whole lot better basketball team. You end the season with two more games at home before the conference tournament. What do you want to see out of your team over the next couple of games? Well, right now, <laughs> getting ready for Wednesday, it's going to be a track meet. And we've got to take care of the basketball. So, you know, we've got to play smart. We've got to play like we did today. If we play together as a team, we play hard like we did, regardless of the score, we'll make progress. And that's what we want to be doing. But, you know, ideally, we'd like to win out. And, you know, we'll see. Coach Steve Brooks, congratulations again. Thanks All right, time. thank you. Steve Brooks, the head coach of the Fighting Saints, the 80 to 60 victors over the Holy Cross College Saints. As we wrap up this game today, we already heard some of the big steps. 27.6 assists for Kamari Jordan. Caitlin Aylward had a great game as well, 24 points, seven rebounds for her. Andriana Acosta led the way with 11 rebounds in the game for the Fighting Saints, who improved to 19 and seven on the season with their seventh consecutive victory. They are now 15 and three in conference. And a big one coming up on Wednesday against Olivet Nazarene University, a team that has only lost once in conference this year. We should have a lot of fun with that one Wednesday evening at 5 o'clock, and you can catch that game as well as all of our St. Francis broadcasts this year through the St. Francis YouTube page or by going to GoFightingSaints.com and clicking on the event you want to see under the upcoming events tab on the main athletics website. So we have that one coming up on Wednesday. Our next St. Francis basketball broadcast coming up in just a few minutes. The St. Francis men will take on the Holy Cross men at 3 o'clock this afternoon. So hopefully you stick around for that. But a great women's game today, 80-60, to 20-point victory over Holy Cross today. Holy Cross drops their 11th game in their last 12 after a 4-2 start to their conference play. They fall to 11-17. and 17. On the season, the Saints pick up their seventh consecutive victory. Two more to go this year before the conference tournament begins on February 20th. That's going to do it for today's broadcast. Saints are victorious. Until next time, for the entire crew here at the Sullivan Center, I'm Terry Bonadonna, signing off for the University of St. Francis. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday.